Welcome back to the video. I am your tech guy, Wayne, and today I wanna to show you how to install a memory card on your Samsung Galaxy A16, and I wanna show you some other really helpful tips as well. So make sure you watch the whole video so you don't miss any important information. I'll be installing this 128 gig Samsung memory card. I'll also be linking some memory cards in the corner of the screen right here, so keep an eye out for those. One thing I wanna say before we start is make sure you buy quality memory cards. Do not buy cheap brands because if you buy a cheap brand, your memory card could work for a few months and all of a sudden it could just die out. So I like to stick to Samsung, SanDisk, PNY. Those are some of the really big names, even Seagate. Um, try not to buy off-brand memory cards because it can cost you in the future. You never wanna lose your information. Okay, on the left side of the phone here, this is where you will be inserting the memory card. Now in the box of your phone, you'll have this little SIM tool. This is used to take out the SIM card tray. Now, if you already threw away the box of your phone and you don't have this, no problem. Simply find a paper clip and just bend it back and you can use that to pop out your memory card. Now here's the slot right here. I'm just gonna insert it and then give it one good push and that's gonna pop the tray out just enough for us to take this out. There we go. And then we'll just take the memory card and just pop it right on the slot here. And you wanna try your best to pop it into place. It should fit there without you having, like if I turn this tray, it shouldn't fall out. So you wanna give it a push so that it's inserted nice and plush. And now we're going to insert it right back into the slot here. And it should go back in just like that. Now, next, let's talk about what it will look like on your screen once the memory card is inserted. We're gonna swipe down from the top. And here I have a pop-up that says SD card inserted, so that's a good sign. If I tap on this, I can then tap on open this will take us to the file manager and you can look at any files that are currently stored on the memory card. So some of you guys might might be taking a memory card from an older phone and putting it into this phone. So this would be an easy way for you to look at your files. Now, here's a really cool trick here. So let's swipe down from the top of the screen, go to your settings wheel in the upper right corner. From here, we're gonna swipe up and we wanna go to device care. And then we'll go to storage. And when you go to storage, first it will show you your internal storage, which is all the storage that is built into the phone. Now, if we swipe left, this will show us our memory card and we can see how much storage we have available to use for pictures, videos, things like that. Now this memory card, I have, I have quite a bit of files on right now, so it, are, it shows I already have 55% of the memory card being used, 71 gigs, but I still have you know, plenty of space for other files. So this is an easy way for you to check to see how much storage is used and how much you have available for your files, okay? So the next thing we wanna do, let's go home. We're gonna go to the camera. We wanna change our camera settings so every time you take a picture, it automatically saves to the memory card versus your internal storage. You always wanna to try to keep the internal storage freed up because the phone runs smoother if the internal storage is, is freed up. If you have too much stuff on the internals, the phone will begin to slow down. So go to the camera. And the first thing you'll see is this pop-up and it says change storage location to SD card, which is exactly what we want to do. And it's telling you here, it's going to change everything except for GIFs and burst shots. So other than that, everything else is going to be saved to memory card. We're going to hit change. And now every time we take a picture, it will save to the memory card. Okay, now let's go to the gallery. We're going to swipe up, go to our gallery. Now pay close attention to the bottom left corner of each of these folders here. So one, we're in the album tab at the bottom, and I just want you to pay attention to the bottom left corner. Now in this uh, album here, there's nothing in the bottom left corner, but in this one, you can see 
there's a little picture of a memory card, and that's just letting you know that these are photos that are stored on the memory card. So whenever you see that memory card icon, that's how you know those are stored on the memory card versus the internal storage. Even right here, I have a couple of the albums that are blurred out. But um, this folder here, memory card, memory card. So just wanted you to see that designation so you know that uh, those are all pictures that are being saved on the memory card, not on the internal storage. So you can differentiate. OK, next, I want to show you uh, how to back up all of your data to a memory card. This is a really important thing as well. We swipe down from the top of the screen, tap on the settings wheel. We're going to swipe all the way up, go to general management. You're going to swipe up and then go to transfer data for a new device setup. And then it will take you to the Samsung Smart Switch app. We're going to hit more, continue, more, allow. Now, here it says transfer data, send, receive. You want to go to the top of the screen and tap on this memory card icon right here. And we're going to back up our data to SD card. OK, now this will back up everything on the phone, pictures, videos, call logs, contacts, messages, everything. It'll back it up to the memory card. Now, this is a common practice that people like to do to make sure that they save the information because obviously your phone could get lost tomorrow and then you lose all the data on your phone or your phone could get damaged. Different things can happen. So a good practice is to buy a really large memory card and I'll pop a recommendation right here. If you were to buy like a, a 512 gig or a one terabyte memory card and basically put that in your phone once a month and do this process, back up all your data to that memory card. And once it's backed up, take it out of the phone and just store it in your home. And if you're doing that consistently, if you ever lose your phone, guess what? All your files are backed up in a hard drive using the, the memory card. It's backed up and you can always access that by just putting it into another Samsung phone. So anyway, this is just another uh, best practice I wanted to share. It's a great way to utilize memory cards with your phone. All right. Now, I want to end the video by just sharing about a really cool product. This is the new Samsung Fit 3 tracker. It's been out for about a year, but I wanted to mention it because it goes great with this phone. Um, it's a very great price right now. It's on sale for only $59.99. It'll track your steps, your heart rate, your food. Um, you can set goals. It's great for motivating you to work out more. Um, and it's just a really great price and I used it for a while and it really helped to motivate me to just be a little more active. So if you're looking for a device to help you be a little more active, this is the, the device to get. I'll link it on screen right here so you can check it out. And again, it's a really great price right now, but it won't be that price forever. So jump on it while it's this low. And if you got value out of this video, make sure you bump that like button down below. I'll also make sure to link here a playlist to more of my A16 videos so you can see more different things you can do with this phone. I'll also link another helpful video right here too. Thanks again for watching. Take care and as always, have a good one.